to the round table. Got my fellow guests with me, Alex Crossan and Carson. Get started on the Patriots this week. Loss of the Rams. Kind of probably bounce us out of the playoff race. So what are your thoughts on that? Um, they really they just didn't play well at all. Like no one played well. They couldn't get a first down like in the first half. Like the first quarter. They just could not move the ball. And then when they they had like a turnover like inside like the thirty, I think, and they couldn't get a touchdown off of that, which they needed badly. So it was just not good football that they played. Yeah, I think the offense just keep struggling and obviously it's been a problem throughout the season. I think that's the main reason why we've lost most of our games. Um and for the most part, I think it's we've just been an inconsistent team. And yeah, I mean I wasn't really shocked by the performance just because we've just because of our record and what our offense has been able to do. Cam's just terrible. And yeah got bullied by their defense. Yeah, I don't think Cam's going to be a solution at quarterback next year. I think they should probably go in a different direction. So, either getting a quarterback in the draft or uh, I don't think Stidham's got a chance yeah. at taking the job. They just yeah. – the next, like – a couple of years definitely going to be rebuilding years because they're definitely some players are definitely getting traded away this year if they want like yeah. wide receivers and whatnot. Yeah, I feel like they're going to try to avoid the label of rebuilding for a while just because like it's the Pats and they've had this long dynasty and they don't want to be now rebuilding. So, yep. um. Who do you think – well, do you think they'll trade Gilmore in the offseason or do anything with Cam? I mean, I, I definitely don't think we'll be – I don't think Cam will be our starting quarterback next year. Um, I think they should trade Gilmore. I mean, he's a great – he's a great defensive player, obviously, but I don't – I just can't realistically see us getting everything we need just from a draft, too. So I think we need to make a trade. Um, so yeah, I think they should trade Gilmore. Yeah, like Alex said you could either trade him in the off season. Yeah, just trade him in the off season. Hopefully, get some other parts of the team we need because our defense is. I don't really know what was wrong. I think the linebackers was the main issue this year, but the like, defense overall is usually pretty, should have been pretty solid if like the the linebackers didn't opt out or get traded, but. Yeah, so we'll see if Gilmore gets traded. I'm sure they could get something good from him. Yeah. Um, how about Edelman? Do you think this is final year for him, or will he come back? I think he'll definitely come back. I just I can't see him um, leaving after the season. I think he'll probably play maybe maybe another year or two. I don't know. I think it's definitely like nearing the end of this like end of his career, but I, th I don't think it'll be next year. Yeah, what Alex said. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, NFL in general, um, the Eagles beat the Saints with Jalen Hurts at quarterback. Um, do you think that's a direct result of benching Carson Wentz? Or did the Saints just play a bad game? I think. Oh, cross my head. I think the Saints need to get Drew Brees back because Taysom Hill is terrible, and Hurts. I mean, they had their offense played pretty well, but they did have like kind of a really long touchdown run. Um. But Hertz is definitely like ten times better than what he played, ten times better than what Wentz was doing. So I guess you gotta roll with it. Yeah. 
you know, like Crossing said, I think it was a mixture of both um, what happened. Um, but the Eagles are thinking about starting Carson Wentz this week, which just makes no sense in my brain because Jalen Hurts played really well. He didn't have any turnovers. He threw the ball pretty well. He ran pretty well. So I just don't see nah, Didn't, didn't nah. Jalen Hurts rush for like 100 yards and over or something? Yeah. yeah he, had a, he was throwing the ball pretty well too. Yeah, I don't know. I thought they were going in the right direction by starting him because obviously Carson Wentz was just not producing for his team. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting, though, to see next week if they do start Carson Wentz to see if he's, I don't know, improved or if they have a different type of game plan for him. But, yeah. If they if they go back to Wentz, that's just, like, really dumb. They have no need to do that. Yeah. Um, how about the Steelers? You think they're fake? Or you think they're contender, pretender? You think they'll bounce back and surprise people after two losses? I think they'll bounce back, to be honest. I mean, they have a great defense. And I don't know what their offense has been doing recently. I've really tuned into many of their games, but. Um, I mean, they have a good receiving core, and they're they're still eleven and two. So, I mean, they played they played the Bills, and I forgot what other team they played the week before. But I mean, they lost to those two teams, which are both fairly good teams. So, I think they could definitely bounce back. Yeah, I, I agree with Alex. I think they can bounce back. I think they just got a little cocky towards the end of the season. They just got to. It's not over yet. So yeah. I think that was kind of a wake up call to say it's still gotta play. I think when Juju stops making TikTok dances before the game, they'll do better. On the logo. Yeah. Um how about Packers clinch their division? You think they're a Super Bowl contender? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, um, what about the football teams looked pretty good? I really like the football I think team. My division. Yeah, I think. Make it out of the first round. Uh, when their division is rooting for them. I mean, the the football team has had some upsets this year, so I would not be surprised if they came out. They, they have a good defense. They have a really good defense. Oh, they're going back to starting Dwayne Haskins, though, I think, because something happened to Alex Smith, so that could definitely change some things because Alex Smith, I think. Blind in the pocket. All he can do is throw it 80 yards. Yeah, so I think that could definitely shake things up for them because I think the direction they were going with Alex Smith and the way he was running the offense was really good. Um, Definitely utilizing their run game and – not making giant throws, but, I mean, they were moving the ball for sure. So, we'll have to see how he plays. But other than that, they're, I mean, their defense has been great. Chase Young, to having that, him, that guy. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, moving on to the Celtics. Preseason just started. Um, what do you think of them? Any people who stand out? And... Like, who's going to fill the role of Kemba for the first month of the year? And I think Thompson's going to be out, too. Um, I didn't watch the game. Uh, but what did they lose by, like, 9 or 10 or something? Yeah. So, I don't, I don't really know what to say, but... Um, I mean, preseason's not, like, that competitive. To yeah. Games. It's just get your players out there to... Like, um, Peyton Pritchard looked good. I originally thought he'd kind of be like a Carson Wentz and just be like phenomenal guard in college, but not much in the NBA. But he's he looked really good in the game the other night. Him and Teague played well too. Yeah, Tatum needs a haircut. So. 
Don't want this little round four. shot, like one for eleven or something. Yeah. Guys need to warm up again for this. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting without Kemba. I mean, I think they'll do all right with Smart and Brown and Tatum out there. Yeah. And once they get those guys back, I'm sure they'll be really good too. Yeah. Love to see Taco get some minutes, but I think he's going to go up to Maine, play with the Red Claws. But I think from what Pritchard's shown, I think he'll probably stay in Boston and play a little bit. Did uh, did Neesmith play or no? Yeah, he had like eight, I think. It's not bad. It's probably else. on the end of the bench. Yeah. Um, uh, like we said, the Bruins NHL might do a bubble. I don't think players are going to be interested in that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, nobody's going to want to be away from their families for the duration of the season. Exactly. Mm. Five to six month bubble is brutal. Yeah. yeah. Like NBA and NHL players didn't even like the two month that much. So. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all we have today. Thanks as always. Thank you, Tim. Thanks, Tim.